Hello, everyone. Welcome to EECS 1022 Winter 2021. I hope you had a good new year. Let me say Happy New Year to you. Um, it's going to be an exciting semester about object oriented programming in Java. Uh, I don't think any one of you would have taken the course with me before. It's only a second course in your CS degree. Let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Jackie. You, you don't need to call me professor, but if you really insist, that's okay. But feel free to call me Jackie. So that's the name I really prefer to being called. And I'm going to be your instructor for section M and section N. Uh, both sections are going to share the same lecture and you're going to share the same tutorial videos and um, whenever you got any trouble learning about the materials, please just get in touch with me. So I decide that every week uh, I would just put a very short about five to ten minutes introduction video just to give you some overview about what's going to happen in the coming week. Uh, unfortunately, we can really not uh, we really cannot meet in person because of the uh, current pandemic. Um, otherwise, I'll be very thrilled to actually uh, speak to you in person in the, the Williams Small Center or maybe in my office. Anyway, we're going to deal with what we are dealing with. Um, for this course, it's going to be completely online. So every week, uh, I'm going to record uh, fresh lectures uh, for you. And the lecture is going to be about two hours. Uh, for the very first week, it's just going to be slightly heavier, but just because you don't have any lab assignments. Uh, heavy lab assignment, I should say. You don't have any heavy one to really do. So for the first week, I just want to get you up to speed about learning about Java because I assume most of you simply don't have any prior experience for Java. So I'm going to teach you from scratch. That's my goal. And also every week, we're going to use the lecture time uh, for either section N or section N on Monday and Tuesday as the Q&A session for all of you. So you are free to, you're welcome to attend any or both of them. It's completely up to you. But just for the very first week, we're just going to go over the syllabus. And starting from the second week, we're going to talk about the questions related to lecture week number one and etc. Okay, and you're going to see the syllabus and you will see exactly what I meant. And we are going to have uh, lab assignments. We're going to have uh, schedule labs. In terms of the schedule lab, we are only going to do grading after uh, outside the lab hours. So we don't really grade your lab assignments during the schedule labs. So you can you will only attend uh, optionally the schedule labs for Q and A only to the TA. If you want to ask me questions in person, please uh, either go to the Q and A. Uh, for the lecture times, or you can go to my office hour either way. And, and again, you go to go over the syllabus, uh, you will see exactly the policy. All right, so for this week, uh, I'm just going to introduce to you uh, for the very first week. Since I assume everybody uh, is kind of new to Java, uh, so I'm going to teach you from scratch. I just assume a very a little bit about some basic uh, programming from either EECS 1012, if you took it, uh, about JavaScript. Well, if you took uh, 1015 in Python, I just assume you got some basic uh, understanding about computational thinking. But for this course, we're going to learn everything from scratch, from the beginning to the more advanced topics later. All right, so let me now switch to my notes, and then I would like to go over with you what's going to happen this week. All right, for this week, uh, we're just going to, let me just emphasize about the workload. Uh, you can see about the recommended workload by Lassonde. In the course syllabus, I think for this week, we're still within the limits simply because we don't have any uh, heavy lab assignment for you to uh, really complete. But it will be starting from maybe the second week. For this week, we just want you to get used to uh, setting up the working environments and just get uh, started with the programming in Java just to make yourself uh, feel comfortable about the new environments. Okay, so there are two things I want to uh, bring to your immediate attention. Uh, for lectures, I already uh, you already see that on the lecture site, and the lecture site is over here, right? This is the link. All the videos, recordings about Q and A lectures or any study materials that I made for section M and N, they will be posted uh, in this particular site. Okay, you can just go there always. Check it on a daily basis, as I will be updating them very uh, regularly. So for the first week, uh, component number one, you're going to watch about 3.5 hours of lecture. Okay, that's what you're going to do. Uh, typically, it will be only about two hours, right? That's kind of the scheduled lecture time. So now we just pre-record all the lectures for you. Just for the very first week, I would like to really finish the entire units about elementary programming so that you'll be very ready for your uh, lab number one and onwards. 
So just for the first week, we're going to go over the uh, normal load for two hours. But starting from second week, we're going back to either less than or equal to two hours for every week. That's something I will try to uh, watch out for uh, for your uh, workload. But for this week, you're going to learn about uh, I will talk about the learning objectives uh, in a moment. But these are the topics for all your lectures. I try to break down the lectures into uh, different chunks. So typically they will last in between maybe uh, 20 minutes to 30 minutes. I try not to really have a chunk that's uh, more than 40 minutes. You might just feel a little bit too, too much drained uh, mentally uh, by watching a long lecture. I'll try my best. So this week you will learn about elementary programming uh, in the lecture and at the same time for the week. Uh, I would suggest you try to complete this by Friday, January 15th because this will be the dates where we actually release your lab number one, which will require some knowledge from elementary programming. So please try to complete it as much as possible before Friday. Uh, I, my number one tip for online learning will be try to really be aware of all the deadline, either explicit or implicit. Right. So you want to really uh, don't uh, don't procrastinate. I do procrastinate myself, but I really hope that you, you wouldn't at least during the semester. Okay. Component number two, which is also very important. And there is going to be some freshly recorded uh, Java tutorials um, uh, made by me every week. And this tutorial series will be shared by all the three sections. We got section N and N taught by me, and also another section O taught by another instructor. So all the sections are going to share some tutorial series. The rationale is since all the scheduled lab sessions are optional, so we simply say you don't really need to attend the schedule labs unless you want to speak to the TA for questions. Otherwise, we can let you study at your own pace. So what I will do instead for your benefits. Every week, I'm going to actually record in between 90 minutes. Okay, let me just tell, typically, it will be about 90 minutes, 1.5 hour to two hours of tutorial video. So what's really the difference between uh, this weekly tutorial versus your lecture? So what's really the difference? The difference is lectures are typically just lecture, right? I'm going to go over slides and I will use my uh, iPad uh, intensively just to illustrate uh, all the example into as many as deep as possible with all the details. But for the weekly tutorial, I will focus more on showing you how to program. And then I'm going to use Eclipse a lot. So that's why it's so important for you to in install Eclipse. So you can think about tutorial over here is more about programming. And then for the lecture, it's more about concept and then all more about um, the knowledge that you would need in order to do programming in Java. All right, just for this week, again, week number one is typically a little bit heavier because we want to get uh, we want to get you started. Week uh, number one this week is going to be 2.3 hours, about two hours and 40 minutes for uh, sorry, two hours and 20 minutes for the tutorial. But starting from the second week, we're going to go back to the normal uh, range between 1.5 to 2. We'll try definitely definitely from second week. So for the first week, given that you don't have to attend any scheduled lab sessions and also you don't have any uh, heavy lab assignment to really complete. So I would say try to spend these hours and also this hour to finish the tutorial. The only submission you will have to make, you will see more details from our uh, E-class announcement. The only submission you have to make will be for your lab number zero. And lab number zero simply require that you follow part A to part F of your uh, week number one tutorial series. And then at the end, you're going to export the entire Java projects uh, of course, by reproducing all the Java classes that's covered in the tutorial, and then gonna export everything uh, into a zip file, the so-called Java archive file, and then you will submit that through eClass. You can refer to your left zero instructions for more detail. Okay, and then you will see other resources over here. So all the study materials will be posted on the lecture site. Let's see. Uh, let's just follow up with this. So there's a section called iPad, uh, iPad notes. So I use my notes uh, iPad intensively to go over concept and example together with you. So you might find this annotated version of the notes very useful. I would suggest sometimes unavoidably the notes might appear a little bit messy, maybe a little bit clotted with all the uh, annotations. But I would say uh, if you really want to see how to build up the uh, uh, reasoning for a particular example or concept, try to look at the notes and think about what's the reasoning or derivation process for getting there. If you have doubts, you can refer back 
to the recording for the lectures over here, right? Okay, uh, okay, very important. So every week we're going to, uh, when you are studying your lecture, I'm going to make available some Google Doc, like a Word documents on the Google. So you can post any questions related to uh, the week one lecture and also week two lecture and etc. Each week, you're going to get a separate uh, Google documents to post your questions. And then you can think about after the one week of study and the next week. For example, in the case of uh, week number one, we're going to go over your questions on, on the Google, Google Doc on the Monday, January 18th, right? And etc. You can look at the calendar uh, for your uh, syllabus. And then I'll post maybe any relevant diagrams, any relevant source code, and this is something that you will see. I will also uh, emphasize in the uh, in the lecture and also the uh, weekly tutorial. Uh, in winter nineteen, I actually created some complete Java tutorial series for your fellow students in ECS ten twenty one. So they are the engineering student, including electrical electrical engineering and also soft engineering. They also did some very serious programming in Java, very similar to us. So in that, uh, I but I don't really really want to just reuse the uh, recordings. I really want to adapt to how you learn throughout the semester, so I can record uh, the more relevant tutorial videos for you. However, the ten twenty one tutorial videos are still really relevant. Most likely, we're going to create over here like a short term version of the ten twenty one tutorial video. So for those of you who might be interested in doing some extra, extra work, uh, extra study, uh, some extra examples, some extra explanation about the concept, I highly encourage you to really do this. But this is optional. It's completely your call. All right, so that's about the overview about the first week. You got to do the lectures. You got to do the tutorial videos. If you want to do extra work, you can also watch the tutorial videos from winter 19. All right, let me go over uh, the learning objectives for week number one very quickly and also the milestone and then I'll leave you to do the work All right, so let's see this uh, We got we need to talk about development process for your Java programming So we're going to talk about compile time versus runtime and also syntax versus types You will see exactly how these terms should be uh, developed and also I got lots of examples for you We're, then we're going to talk about literal values and data types Okay, and we're going to talk about name constants and also variables and how we can do variable assignments to manipulate the storage of values. You will see that. And then we're going to talk about operations, operators, and operands. So these are very relevant terms, but they, ha they do have some subtle difference you have to watch out for. Okay, and also we're going to talk about expressions and also type correctness. So this will be the term I will emphasize throughout the semester. In Java, in Eclipse, whenever you try to execute your program, you have to make sure all uh, your program actually compiles. I will emphasize the idea in the lecture and also in the tutorial. If you got any compile time errors, uh, you simply just cannot execute your code. In that case, if you simply submit a code that simply wouldn't compile for grading, you will just get zero just because I, we cannot run anything. Uh, we cannot do anything to your program. So that's something we would like you to really get trained for this course, right? Well, of course, we'll give you proper resources. We'll give you time to really get used to this, but just be careful uh, on day one. I'm telling you, uh, you really have to watch out for type correctness to really write a program that will compile. Okay, and then we'll talk about also something called coercion versus casting, right? That's also very important to understand. So that's about the learning objectives for the first week. Let's also talk about the milestone. You want to get ready for lab number one, which will be released on Friday, January 18th. Sorry, I said it wrong. I beg your pardon. Let me say it again. Friday, January 15th. So you got five days to actually complete uh, your lectures and also to complete your uh, lab tutorial videos. Typically for the first week, you can afford to maybe spend a little bit more time on the lectures and also on the tutorials uh, specifically. Hopefully that hard work will pay off uh, once you start doing the lab assignments starting from week two. You wanna complete lab zero, and let me say that you do have to submit something for week number one. So lab zero is going to be due on Friday, January 15th. And what should you submit? You have to do uh, the 
tutorial series, what I just mentioned from week number one to uh, from week number one, parts A to F. So once you complete those parts, you will have to export the uh, entire Java project with all the classes. You got to reproduce them with the exact names uh, for the classes, packages, and also methods and submit them for grading. Okay, that's what you're gonna do. No extra exercises will be required. You, you will just have to reproduce whatever that's covered in this particular tutorial video. All right. And of course, you will have to complete the lecture uh, week number one. And also with those of you who want to do some extra practice, again, you are highly encouraged to really try for this week, uh, the winter 19 tutorial video one to video seven. I think that you're gonna get lots of more practice uh, opportunities by following all the tutorials I try to make to get uh, try to make available to you. All right, so that's about week number one. It's a very uh, exciting to really learn together with you. I taught 1022 uh, once back in uh, year 2018 winter. Unfortunately, it was a strike year. I'm not sure if you uh, know about it. So we didn't really uh, get to finish uh, 1022 the normal way that I would like to it to be finished. But anyway, I also taught uh, 1021 uh, in the winter 19. And also I taught the subsequent course to 1022, which is 2030. I taught it also many times. Uh, so I pretty much know what you might be struggling with. So that's why I really want to create all the lectures and also tutorial videos from scratch and also freshly. So if there's any uh, concern about your learning that may be brought up to either to my email, to my office hour, to the schedule labs, to the Q&A, uh, just let me know. In that case, I can try to maybe adapt my teaching really to help you the most I can. 1022, uh, even though it's still a first year course, I don't think you I don't think you will be the right uh, mindset to think of, think of it as an easy A. You might be able to get uh, an A, uh, quite easily, but I would say you rather take it more seriously as a foundational course because all your subsequent courses like a 2030 and 2011 It does rely on the foundation that we're going to teach you uh, in this course. All right So that's about for this week. I'm gonna see you uh, in the week number two in the introductory uh, video But I'm also gonna see you in the Q&A and also in the office hour. All right. Happy Java programming and happy studying. If you got any trouble, please, you know my email. Just get in touch with me. All right. See you later. Take care.